Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a screen recording of um, my posing on show day and I'm just going to pause it when I, I think I'm noticing certain things that I want to improve on, things that I didn't like, things that I did like, and then uh, I'm just going to analyse it and go through it and I'm going to put the screen recording up here. So let's start it. So initially it kind of came in um, when I'd already started anyway, but this is the start of my routine and one thing right here that I noticed is that basically my arms should have been up higher because I was trying to do the, the Z's pose. I was doing it fine in practice but I think the nerves just come to you and, um, and some of the things that you plan on doing just don't work out on the day. So um, another thing that I'm noticing here is my rib cage is coming slightly out. I could have my abs tensed a lot better which again I did in posing but um, that day I'd only ate like two hours before and because of the nerves and obviously because two hours isn't really enough to digest your food and that just happened as I mentioned because um, my tanning time was late um, so I was not digesting the food properly and I was actually feeling it come up and so I was breathing heavier plus I wasn't um, feeling great as well I had, um, I had some sort of virus or the flu so I was breathing a lot heavier and I was feeling more tired so that's something obviously that next time I'll need to really focus on and it was something that I got feedback on from other people telling me that I didn't tense much but I think it was more so from being breathless and um, not being able to tense uh, just because I'm trying to get my breath and breathe properly um, I was trying to make sure that I was able to um, pace myself because if I was just to not breathe in tense at the very start then I would get tired towards the end and that would be where I would start to tense less and towards the end of my posing is going to be what's most important because that's what the judges remember at the end so um, we'll continue with this so that was the Z's pose here came back down with my hands posed walked forward here I'm quite happy with that but again if you look at my obliques I could be tensing my obliques much more and kind of coming in and tensing a little bit more just so the detail comes out there um, but yeah turn around here tense there so my back is definitely an area I want to improve um, so I can see a slight imbalance here from my trap injury so as you can see my full left side is more tensed up you can see my traps on my left side is more prominent um, whereas this side kind of looks imbalanced up at my trap these are things that you might not notice but which judges notice and which people who compete would notice um, so there's nothing I could really do about that just because I do have a trap injury I, I still need to book a physio appointment I'm going to do that tonight um, but that was something that I noticed plus my overall conditioning um, wasn't great I could have came in with a lot more detail in my lower back my lower back was the last thing to come in um, and that was where I was holding a lot of body fat so again that's something I need to really think about next time and instead of doing a 15 week prep do like maybe a 20 week prep um, just so I've got time if anything happens if I get a flu I've got plenty of time to um, get the conditioning um, and bring the body fat even lower so that the detail comes out in the back here I think I'm lifting my arms up a bit too much and because of that my lats are not showing and my lats have became more narrow um, so if I bring those down then hopefully that should bring my, my lats out a little bit wider plus in general I do want to get my back a lot, th uh, a lot thicker so I think that my delts and stuff um, I have round muscle bellies and my delts my arms are okay for the standard my chest is okay my abs are okay for the standard but I did notice that in comparison to other people I didn't act like I lacked that thickness in my back um, although I do have naturally quite strong um, and thick lower lumbar muscles I think my upper back could come out uh, can, could get a lot thicker and um, of course my lats there's always room for improvement there there's always room for improvement all over but that's something that I noticed there here's another thing so if we just go back slightly so when I'm tensing my arms and my elbows are coming slightly down if I was just to bring them up more that would bring my delts out a lot more from the back and you would be able to see my arms a lot more from the back and also if I was to rotate my arms back like that then it would bring my biceps out more um, but that's little things that I'm noticing here I'm only just a beginner basically so um, these are little things that I'm noticing that I could improve on um, also just because of how I was feeling and how ill I was towards the end up I was training legs less um, just so I wasn't too fatigued so I did notice like in my glutes and stuff I built good glutes and good legs but I noticed that they did decrease a lot in size um, and I think that having good glutes uh, from the back and then when you're posing from the 
the side. If you've got bigger glutes, it can make your waist look smaller, the same way that your shoulders having them wide can make your waist look smaller. So these are little things that um, I'm picking up on. Again here, my elbows are a little bit down too much. If I just bring them up and turned my hand backwards, it would bring my, my arms out a lot more. But um, again, with my abs as well, my ribs are kind of coming out and I could be tensing my obliques more. But fairly happy with that. My calves look good um, and my lats are coming out to the side. You can see my, my lats are quite wide. Um, so not too bad there, I guess. Ideally, I would have the posing a little bit slower, um, but you've only got a certain amount of time to try and get all the poses in. Towards the end of my posing, the guy was already saying, okay, well done, Luciano, or something like that, um, and they were trying to get the next person on. Um, another thing is, the quality of this video isn't great, so um, I've noticed that the detail from the actual photos are much better, and I think that's just because, one, I've downloaded this video, plus um, two, it's hard for the videographer to focus while doing a video because I'm moving, up, um, I'm moving about a lot. Again, my elbows are slightly down more, um, and I could bring them up, and that's the end of the routine. I'm even noticing here that I'm looking a little bit soft. I'm looking in okay shape, to be honest, but um, just looking at the back there, the back could be more detailed, but these are little things that I noticed and I wanted to walk through. Um, again, like I mentioned, this video isn't going to be really high quality, there's not going to be Obviously there's not a videographer doing this, I'm just focusing on getting content out now um, and we'll focus on getting the video quality better and I'll maybe get a videographer once a month once the, the channel picks up a little bit but yeah I just wanted to walk through that and my next video I've already filmed part of that which is going to be on um, how I'm planning on training abs this season because I think that um, with training abs going into next season um, and making sure that I'm doing that they'll become a lot more chunkier and it um, will just allow me to bring out that detail more because I was doing a little bit of abs during my bulk but I kind of fell away towards my cut um, so I, I want to really bring out my abs and train them like they are an inner muscle part so um, if I'm training my chest for example I'm constantly overloading that trying to do more volume over time and lift more weight over time I want to do the same with my abs now and really bring them out and um, give them like a chunky look and I think that will also help so there's lots of little things I need to improve on here all over but um, all in all I'm quite happy with the way things went for my first season taking this series and I'll show you that video in the next episode thanks a lot for watching and make sure to leave a like subscribe um, and comment any of your thoughts or any questions you have or any video ideas and I'll make sure to get back to you and I'll make sure to um, do the videos that you're requesting as well so remember to leave a like and subscribe